Hello, Scotty here, Black Talk Radio News, BlackTalkRadioNetwork.com, and I have a question for you. Do you think that what some of us are referring to when we refer to in the black community a generational divide, if actually that is more of a ideological divide, it has nothing to do with age? Because when I listen to, let's say, our elders, those, let's just say, 60 or above, when I hear them refer to Barack Obama as an ethical person and star citing where he went to school and all of that, to me that speaks to a person who is in sore need of, let's say, uh, corporate news deprogramming. You can tell where they get their information from. You could tell that they do not really subscribe to alternative news and independent voices to help break down and analyze what we're seeing play out globally because I don't see how anyone can call a person who walks around with a kill list as judge, jury, and executioner along with his cabinet I mean, any person, it's not just Barack Obama, George W. Bush had that same power um, when they first introduced these drone programs. Then Barack Obama inherited it and expanded it, and now Donald Trump will inherit it. But when I hear people um, speak, black people, particularly older black people, but also younger black people who have been totally brainwashed by the media, and then we say it's a generational divide. No, a lot of it has to do with that person's worldview, their knowledge in terms of world politics and current and staying, you know, up with current events and what's happening. Instead of just tuning in to MSNBC, all your cable news channels which have been shown historically and during this uh, last presidential election to be corrupt and in the very least unethical as you had members of the media participate in the Pied Piper strategy of the Clinton campaign to elevate people like Donald Trump by giving them a lot of free news uh, publicity. And a lot of people know that Don kept asking the question. So these are unethical people and it's not so much of an age thing, it's a knowledge thing, it's a consciousness thing. And as I was contemplating these things after I was listening to conversations between uh, um, a millennial as, and a person in their 60s, I was like, this is why the Black Panther Party had political education classes. This now it really, you know, gives me some insight on the need for black people or any group um, to have political education classes and looking at at the system for what it is. One born of and still practicing slavery and racism. So it's not so much a generational divide that I that I see because there are plenty of revolutionary elders, um, but then we have those who have just totally bought into the facade, who have bought into the quote unquote American dream, and um, they are unable to remove the black filter when looking at black politicians and see them for their actions and not for the symbolism that they represent. And I do understand why the older generation will also have low self-esteem in it because of how they've been demonized, dehumanized, demonized, dehumanized all throughout uh, history, uh, including the 60s and, and through Hollywood. And symbolism is real important to them. It's not that important to younger generations. Their self-esteem does not come from celebrity figureheads, um, as they are often called. Their self-esteem does not come from that. And I will also say that the millennial generation, especially those, I would say, um, let's say 40 and under, 40 and under are more technologically advanced than those in their 60s from that time period of the 60s. Um, they're more technologically advanced, meaning that they know how to use technology better to access information, and they are just quite simply better informed. And they um, are seem unwilling to compromise on their principles 
and core values to where they would co-sign on to a Hillary Clinton after Hillary Clinton uh, called their generation when they were children super predators and then ignore the evidence that uh, she still was being supported and taking money from the private prison enslavers. So it's not a generational divide. I think that we should stop using that term. I think it's an ideological divide where there's a divide over ideals. There is also a divide in consciousness. Everybody um, is not as conscious um, the fraud that the system is running um, through what we see through the television, as some people would call the television box. So what what do you think? Do you think there's something to this generational divide thing, or do you think it's just a matter of, of black people having different core values and ethics and some being more brainwashed and, than others? I, I, I just don't think there's anything to this generational divide. All right, leave your comments. Thank you.